a major, major change is coming to Survivor Series because of a major injury that just happened in Dublin, Ireland over the past weekend. What exactly we're talking about? Well, we're fixing to tell you. Hey, YouTube, are you ready for your hot tag? Because if you are, it's time to work. Hey, you with me and Drag, so you can be watching WGS TV. Oh, yeah! <laughs> YouTube, you have worked your way into another episode of WGS TV right here on youtube.com slash Russell Gamer. And I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, that this episode will also be aired, but also on HWR because it, this is a huge story, guys, because a major change is coming to Survivor Series. But before I, we discuss what happened, let me introduce the people that are here. First up, the host of Hardcore Wrestling Radio is here. It's Rick Head. Rick, how you doing? Doing all right. Um, I just read the article about Seth Rollins, and holy shit, you know, it, it, we were suspecting a possible title change, but now it's obvious. And the studly man, Ashley, is here. Ashley, how you doing? Um, a Ashley, my bad. Um, there you go. Ben Seth Rollins. Yes, uh, Seth yeah. Make, uh, what we're talking about, guys and gals, is over the past weekend at a live house show in Dublin, Ireland. Um, I believe it was in a match against Kane or uh, Seth Rollins. Worth noting, first show of the European tour. First show. They've still got another nine or ten days of shows after this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, during that match, uh, uh, Seth Rollins uh, uh, tore his knee. Uh, specifically, it was a torn M MCL and ACL and a meniscus injury, which will uh, will sideline him for the next eight to nine months. It's already been confirmed. Six. Well, WWE.com says eight to nine months. You know, I'm, I'm just going off what WWE.com said. Nine. I'm sorry. This is the first time we're recording a yeah, video. I, video. I believe the coach more with WWE.com. <laughs> Okay, but uh, anyway, it's even uh, here on the WWE app. We're considering uh, talking about the the injury. Uh, it says uh, it's a torn. Well, well, they really don't give a date on it. It says it's a t uh, tore his right ACL, MCL, and uh, medial meniscus, and will not be able to defend the title against Roman Reigns at Survivor Series a tournament to determine a new champion will instead take place. Uh, Rick, this is just. You know, you, you got to put this in, along the line of the situation that happened with Daniel Bryan when they first put the title on Daniel Bryan, and next thing you know, he's injured on the sideline. This is just terrible timing for Seth Rollins. Well, I, I wouldn't put it really as much as uh, Daniel Bryan's, but although I can understand how you get the title. But the difference, I think, between Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins is Seth Rollins has had a great title run, and on top of that, you know, this is his first injury. Um, a lot of the reports even said that he was doing more shows at this point in time than John Cena had done. It, you know, so you, you know, you really are worried about what, you know what's this going to bring. And I wouldn't be surprised if they bring him back as a babyface as opposed to a heel, because yeah, he'll get huge pops. And plus, with Survivor Series just a, uh, less than three weeks away, it's again it's terrible timing because then. It threw a monkey wrench into what they were gonna do at, at first with Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, and now because of this injury, Ash, they're gonna uh, they're gonna uh, have a, a tournament. And a, a lot of the a lot of the uh, rumors they're speculating now is that they're still gonna put the title on Roman Reigns. Do you think they still go that route, or do you think uh, with a, a tournament uh, at Survivor Series they're gonna put it on a new guy? We need to see what's happening with this tournament because. I don't think we're going as far as it being like deadly game style. Yeah. I've got a feeling it's going to be more like a King of the Ring, possibly eight in one night. I'd have thought. Because you could sort of say, okay, there's there's no reason really to have a US title or an IC title. So that frees up Del Rio and Owens. Um, you could still continue the feuds with various other people like the Ziggler Breeze stuff. You know, you could have Breeze interfere with Ziggler. Um, clearly, Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family, though, are still... I think they're still in the angle with the Brothers of Destruction and whatever combination are going to be doing something. In all honesty, though, this sort of puts... This probably squashes the rumors of... Um, Survivor Series matches happening this year. Actually, you know what? If I may interject on there, Ash, I, I tend to disagree with you. I wouldn't be surprised if they did 
what they did several years ago when they needed to have a, a title at Survivor Series. They had an elimination where there was a sole survivor would win the w, at the time WWF Championship. I wouldn't be surprised if they did something similar on uh, this, you know, at this year. Them was Series. them was stealing ideas from Shikara. And I do not approve. No, because the WWE <laughs> the WWE did it years ago. So Shikara is actually stealing ideas from the WWE. When did the when did they do it? <coughs> so it was done, I think, when Hulk Hogan was still in his first heyday. I'm still trying to think of when when that was. It was done. If you look at your history, I don't remember the year, but I remember it specifically being done. They had basically two teams of five, and they started elimination, and then as they started breaking down, they started breaking it down into other teams, and other teams, until there was one sole survivor. It was for the WWF Championship. No, they haven't, done, they haven't gone that far. Yes, it I was, know. actually. Um, it was- I, 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 I do know one instance when the championship was up for grabs in a Royal Rumble match. I'm trying to think, because I know they didn't do it in 87, because that would have been clear. I'm not even sure if they did it in 88 or 89. They haven't done it in the Survivor Series-style atmosphere, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there's a lot of people in the comment section they are going to be screaming. There's been tournaments at the thing before. Obviously, as I say, you know, 98 with um, the deadly game, as they called it. I think they... They did have at one point, they had uh, whoever won the Survivor Series matches then went into a Survivor Series match at the end of the night. But the, the, the whole idea that Shikara do, uh, they call it the Cibernetica. And they have it like seven on seven or eight on eight. And they do it until there is one survivor. So let's say if uh the face team has three people left and the heel team are all out then they keep going until there is one survivor so the faces are battling against each other wwe's never tried that because then you know you're going to split the crowd and then it's going to get complicated but i'm wondering because of jimmy jacobs being on the writing crew now whether he might be going my dear for you guys um <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, fi- time for final thoughts on, on uh, Seth Rollins' injury. Rick, I want to start with you first. What are your uh, final thoughts on Seth Rollins uh, and his injury and what they're going to be doing now at Survivor Series with this tournament? Um, I would not be surprised if, uh, like I said, they need to do like some kind of a tournament. I- I'd like to see that Survivor Series tournament. If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to look a little bit of history. Um, I believe it was in 19... 19- Oh, no, sorry, 2001. I could be... I haven't read also. Anyways... That was Elimination Chamber, though. Survivor Series? There was an Elimination Chamber match at Survivor Series. 2002. It was Team WWF, Rock, Chris Jericho, Kane, and Big Show versus Team Alliance, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Rob, Van Dam, Kurt Angle, Booker T, and Shane McMahon, and 5 and 5 Severe Series for the ownership of both companies in WWF. Okay, okay. That, that wasn't for the title, though. That was You're for right. the ownership. But... Um, I- Go ahead. And anyways, um, you know, obviously they got to do some kind of a tournament. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I remember specifically there was one year where they did an elimination for there was one sole survivor. Whether it was for the title or not, I, I could be wrong. I'm going to be doing my history on that one. Um, so long story in short, I really, uh, it, it's bad timing, but you know, the show must go on. And I'm sure either way, we're going to probably see uh, Roman Reigns take the title. And um, Ashley, over to you, your final thoughts on the Seth Rollins situation? Uh, Best wishes to him, because in the circumstances that he's been in, arguably he is the the WWE champion people will forget about. Because during his hate, during his time as champ, uh, you know, he got usurped by Lesnar and Taker. He got usurped by Cena and Owens. You know, even his match with Sting... Uh, apparently nobody can remember from Night of Champions because of uh, who knows what it's a shame that he's been forced to fight on the mid card for the majority of his reign because he's been a good champ and Tyler Black, Seth Rollins, whatever you want to call him best wishes to him and let's see what happens with this tournament for once Monday Night Raw might be worth watching this week and wonder what the hell is going on 
Ironically, it's in the UK, so, you know, blame Dublin. Yeah, I gotta agree with you to an extent about that. You know, uh, Seth Rollins' WWE uh, Championship reign has just been kind of underrated, overlooked, and, uh, especially with a lot of fans on social media. They've been kind of saying that you know, Seth Rollins' reign as a champion has been crap. Uh, and to an extent, I kind of agree with them. Uh, not to the point where I, over, or I overly hate Seth Rollins as WWE Heavyweight Champion. I don't do that. But, um, however, his usage and the way WWE has been using him as WWE World Heavyweight Champion has been kind of marred in, in my in my eyes. Yeah. Go ahead. He's a great, he's a great talent. He's just been overlooked. The, he's been the victim of the WWE creative, and it's just a shame because the however, what was it like, two hundred and something days? Must be two hundred. I think two hundred eighteen or something around that around that number. Yeah, it's well, well, depending when he gets stripped. I guess we've got to wait for the official confirmation of the stripping. <laughs> and no, we're not talking about those photos that leaked out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the self Ron selfie. Yeah, I kind of figured you were going to go that route. But um, anyway, there's still a lot of people who still believe, including Lance Moss. I had the opportunity to talk to him before uh, we started doing this recording. That uh, he still feels that uh, Roman Reigns will still be crowned the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And I, I think that still remains to be seen. Um, um, like you said, Ashley, it still remains to be seen, especially with the way... Um, WWE will plan this tournament out. I mean, they're going to have to, like, rush to put a lot of stuff together because, you know, this is kind of, you know, their plan B. You know, they always got to, I would think, have to have a plan B ready in case something uh, something serious Thank as this happens. Thankfully, they've got two and a half weeks. Yeah, they got two and, and a half. And keep in mind, the only wrestling they're doing between now and Survivor Series is the UK Tour which includes an episode of Raw and SmackDown and Raw and SmackDown back in America. So they're going ham crazy for the next 10 days, but that's because, you know, the, U the UK and European fans want them to go ham. But they they can clearly... This is the problem, though, of this work schedule that everyone's on because the fact of the matter is when you have wrestlers wrestling day in and day out the likelihood of these sort of injuries have happened arguably you're seeing it because that's why Cena isn't here because I honestly think despite what all the rumors say oh he's doing a reality show I think he's recouping from injuries because he realizes Wrestlemania 32 is the biggest payday of the year that's why they pulled Orton off to let him recover from his rotator cuff and that that's the thing in the space of one to two weeks, you've lost Cena, you've lost Orton, and you've lost Rollins. They're and, dropping like flies. And this let's is not like forget UFC. This is like this is like UFC. Everybody's getting injured right before they're trying to uh, get done, and <laughs> at the risk. Survivor Series is just going to be a three-hour celebration of the Undertaker because everybody else will be injured. Yeah, that's what the way it looks like. But um, anyway, guys and gals, what we want to know from you guys out there, the viewers and subscribers, your thoughts, your reactions to the Seth Rollins injury. Again, Seth Rollins has a torn ACL, MCL, and a medial meniscus tear and will be out for the next supposedly the eight to nine months. And now at Survivor Series, we'll have a tournament to crown a new WWE World of Weight Champion. We definitely want to get your reactions to that. Be sure to put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Rick, where can fans check you out on HWR? Well, they can always check us out over at youtube.com slash HWR show. Um, but before I, I go on, I want to make a couple of points. First off, I think Seth Rollins' character has been excellent because he's made what a lot of wrestling isn't it lacks today, and that's the heel. He is that perfect heel. And, you know, uh, to be hated and disliked, you're doing your job. Um, over on to what I was talking about, the elimination match, it was uh, dubbed the grand finale match of survival. And that's what it was. It was not for the title. I was mistaken on that one. But they did have that sort of match. And to do a similar match for the title could work. Yeah, it could. It could in a way. It depends on, uh, you know, if, if it's executed in the, in the proper manner. But uh, but um, anyway, um, uh, guys and girls, don't forget, uh, coming, uh, coming up soon right here on WGS-TV, you're going to see 
both me and Stutterman Ashley and uh, Rick for a couple episodes doing Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. And uh, let's just say that's been a headache and a half. But it, but when we complete the bombs, Ashley, that's when we get a, a, a sense of uh, satisfaction that we did it. Mm, that's a rarity. <laughs> Yeah, trust me, guys. It is. Um, also, guys and gals, WGS TV is on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can ask me questions. Links will be provided in the description box below. And as always, guys and gals, I will have a couple of videos. Any annotations at the end of this video for you guys to check out as well. So with that being said, for the hardcore host of Hardcore Wrestling Radio, Rick Hen and the Stunning Man Ashley, I'm the Wrestle Gamer. Those people in the general say, we'll see you at the next work Ellie. Ellie. The Admiral is obsessed with making it a key. A key to what? Brain White really sticking to his uh, promos. Um, I, I really want to quickly mention something. Uh, one of the YouTube channels that I watch. For